Right folks, I'm having to walk around this field. There is a link going up there, so I, I am getting there. But I couldn't see a path going across the field. And to be quite honest, I totally felt, I knew that was a weak area back there. Because the, the arrows disappeared. Now this is going to be very, very common on this walk. <sighs> Sometimes you're seeing the Greenway arrows. And then you don't see them when you need them. At junctions, they disappear. Because some farmers probably go around taking them down. They don't really want anyone out there. <sighs> to be quite honest, they don't really. Because my feet are going to get wet, but hopefully they'll dry out. <laughs> at the moment, these are still relatively new. I haven't experienced much wetness. So they'll probably survive this day. But uh, what with all my... <laughs> trainers in the end once they become when well they can't they're not waterproof anymore um they're useless really they're only good for dry days then um there's a little bit of dampness seeping in but um it's a part of a hiker's issue you know what i mean basically these cost me about 35 quid and they usually last a good year and they get well used I've got walking boots. I need to replace the walking boots. The, the one set are definitely no good anymore. they got holes in them. They leak. They leak very quickly after buying them and they cost me about £100. It don't seem to make any difference what you pay. Now we're coming up to a point now which I'm... I know I didn't go up like that. I reckon I came straight across. To be quite honest. There might be a gap in a minute, and you say, oh, you could have just gone through there. But not at the moment, I can't see anything. Let's have a look here. Here's a way up. Let's have a look. There's a gate, yeah. If you knew the way, look, it's in line with that shed. If you knew the way, you could just go straight through the middle. But I might, knowing me, I'd get lost, so I didn't do it. Now, of course, as you know, we've got the risky bit coming up um, where there was a massive herd of cows with a bull. Now, hopefully, there aren't any today. But uh, if not, I'll have to move about changing direction again. But I think um, it was no good me going on that other track. I think I made the right decision, even though I went round the field. Because you can't really see a way through, can you? It's not really very clear, so... And you would have got soaked, because all these are wet. Not only your feet, your whole body would have got soaked. Oh, I can see a greenway sign. On a wobbly gate. Ah, yes. Look. Look! Greenway! Right, I'm going to take some pictures, and then I'll come back on again when we get to the field. Right, folks, I'm on top of this little hill, keeping an eye out for a sudden rush of cows, which is what happened to me last time when I got... Not here. There is a field there where they could be lurking, but there's no cow... All the cow pack here is very, very dry. So, so far, fingers crossed. And what I remember about the rest of the walk, right the way to Triscombe at least, there was no cows at all. There were no cows. There's a gate right up at the top there. And well, there's a gate down there which I will use. Which I used before. But if there's cows in there, I would go up the top. I've got to go up the top. Anyway, eventually, I've got to go up there. But this time, four years ago, I came in this field, I was taking photos, looking round, and I just, just, just got through that stile, right? I just got in there, I, and I looked round, and there were cows everywhere. There were sheep in there, there were sheep in there, when I came before. That was filled with sheep. And that looks... Oh, look at you. You're a big ram. God, look at the size of him. thought you were dead for a minute. My goodness, you're a big, big ram. 
Massive, aren't you? My goodness, look at those horns! Yeah, we want to be attacked by you. I'm going to have to stop, folks, to take a picture of that, that sheep. Right, that folks, look. I attempted to go into another field, and all the cows were in there. They're standing by the gate now, and loads of them, same herd. There's nothing to say they can't go around in a big loop and come up here. So my feet are absolutely soaked now. Um, absolutely soaked. Anyway, there's a gate up here. But my feet are drenched. I'll probably get a sores now. And it's only the start of the walk. Hopefully they might dry out. They might do, but I don't think the socks will. You can see where they have been in there. It's a good job I wreckade before. And, uh... found this gate here. I, I had to go uphill anyway. Whatever I was doing, I had to go uphill. It could be that I could have got feet are soaked. Hopefully they'll dry out a bit without giving me any blisters. We'll see how it goes. Here we go, here's the gate anyway. I looked over this gate four years ago thinking how lucky I was for escape. Yeah. very lucky. Great big cows as well. Great big cows just waiting there by the gate. I had no choice but to turn back and they got calves. So. Okay they got calves and the bull probably. So once again, once again we have had to do a diversion. And I've got no spare socks. And I've got wet feet at the very start of what could be another six hour walk. And I've been out about an hour and a half, two hours. <sighs> yeah, this is what happens um, in the mornings, in spring and autumn. You get these mists and they make everything wet. Up to now, I've never, I haven't, I don't think I've experienced wet feet for years, actually. I normally am so good at avoiding it. You know? I'm usually so good, I usually avoid anything to do with getting wet feet. So all I can hope is that the sun gets hot enough. My trousers are wet. These were dry quickly. The trousers were dry quickly. At the moment, my feet are squelching with water. So when I get the opportunity, I'll wring the socks out. I'll just see how it goes. Anyway, here we are at the gate going on the greenway, but I bet you there won't be a greenway sign. There might be one the other side, though. So that was unfortunate. There's me thinking, oh, no cows, and then... There are cows. That's a bit of a shock. Not to worry. We might be alright. These have got, they've got breathing holes in them. I might have to take the socks off. Might have to take the socks off and see how it goes. I've got nothing to replace. So there we got the greenway, is it? Is it the greenway? 
Yes, Quantock Greenway. I remember this, folks. Right, I'm turning off. Take some pictures. Small video. I've just come from two junction points there. Not one single Greenway sign. Okay. I can't remember because it's four years ago, and I only ever done it that one time. So for me, it's hard for me to remember. But, you know, I, can't, I just can't. And there's no sign, and I can't remember what decisions I made. I, I know I didn't think about roaming over there, but there's that lovely house. Oh yeah, I remember now. God, we're here quickly. They were building that house when I passed, so I now know I'm on the right track, but it's not, not through any sign. Yeah, I remember now. A lovely house that I could imagine my son Duncan building with his dad and living out here. My Duncan. He deserves somewhere like that, my Dunk does. All my kids deserve. So basically, I'm just plodding along. There's lots of diversions, you see. But seeing that house made me th remember. Even though there's no greenway signs back there where there are several junctions. There it is. I'll just zoom in again. Great big window. Look. Don't look like I quite finished it. That's got great views up there, you know. That's got great views. Idyllic, isn't it? Idyllic. A little patch. What I can remember about this, it's very flat for ages. And it goes on and on and on. But like that, like this one and that one, I didn't record every single second. Somebody coming along now. I didn't record every single second, eh? 